This episode's called Despair. I'm honestly surprised the last episode wasn't called Despair. If that, if this one's called Despair, uh, it's gotta get even crazier. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Dapper Darius, back at it again with Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2, Episode 7. Last episode, we had Hinata kind of trapping and forcing a fight out of Rimuru, who truly just wants to have a conversation and talk this out. Not happening, though. So, while at the end of that fight, Rimuru used Gluttony while being stabbed for the seventh time with Dead Ends Rainbow, supposedly dying. We're going to see what happens with that. The Jura Tempest Federation is also getting... Excuse me. Is also getting thrashed just super attacked by the the western holy church knights because they've been deemed an enemy of god because oh i don't even get me started on that we got shogo kiyoya and kirara going against uh, uh shion um hakuro gabta gabzo all that shuna it's just, it's just not like shit's just hitting the fan it's not going well we have mulan revealing her true self also doing making moves from uh clay man we have Eurizania and Carrion versus Milam. Supposedly, no idea what's going on there. I have to find out what's going on. I have to find out what happens this episode. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always, for you guys. Make sure to check that out. It's a fun time. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Appreciate y'all very, very much. Let's hop into this. Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2, Episode 7, Despair. Let's do this. Right where we left off, the sword is like enlarged in Rimuru's body. This is not what I was expecting at all. Yep. So we have, I saw Ranga in there. I see wings. What is this form? Hey, isn't so. Is gluttony like an. Because I think Rimuru is unconscious right now. This is like autopilot. Like, this is like curse mode Rimuru. Is Gluttony just incorporate everything we've swallowed into a certain trait aspect that we were able to now just go ham? Because the wings are probably from the Karibidis little megalodons, maybe, that we swallowed. I see Ranga, who happens to be in our shadow. That might have been Ranga's. No, because it has the two horns like Ranga. Oh, I'm so curious. But I saw like the centipede from like episode one, right? That was from when we were first turned into a slime. Or episode two, somewhere around there. Spirit summoning? Holy shit! I beg thee, heed my wish. This is so crazy. What the hell is going on? Why is there 15 layers of that? Disintegration. Spirit bomb of energy. What the hell? I think, no joke, that would kill any being in this world besides Rimuru. I don't even know how Rimuru's gonna survive this. That was insane. It literally descended. Oh! Rimuru was able to get out in slime form? How the hell? What the hell was that? That's literally me. Take a big breath of air. Oh, that's when Rimuru was able to get out of there. A doppelganger. So the whole time it was a clone fighting. Unreal. I thought Rimuru was OP. I thought Milam was OP. I actually wonder how that disintegration would fare against someone like Milam, who we've seen just exceeds every expectation we have. I'm glad we're on the same wavelength, Rimuru. I'm glad. Bro, the music in this show has been so fire. The way it's probably been going through it. Vesta. Yeah, take that health bot. Let's get everyone healed up. I'm so glad we've been able to mass produce this thanks to Vesta. There's a whole bunch of people making it. 
Which we just got worried that might be uh, an issue. Mjolnir was when it told us, right? Yes, we do. So thankfully, it's an inferior version, so we can resist it and actually go through and put in some work. And this whole place is just, yeah, wrecked. It's horrible. It is Benimaru. Grusius, Benimaru, Mulan, and Yume. Is he trying to get through Grusius? Understandable. When she's the one who erected the barrier, I I get where Benny Mario's coming from. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh I I I have to agree. They're actually so cute, human Mulan. That's what I'm worried about. They're talking about victims. Who who are the victims? I need to know. Oh, see, that's a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. Oh, yeah, we've actually suffered some death. In such a peaceful federation, too, in such a peaceful place. That's, oh my god. The body count is massive. That's fucking super sad. The Western Holy Church is going to get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, if there was ever going to be something that causes monsters and humans to go against each other, it's going to be something like this. They're trying to break the stigma of monsters being monsters, you know? No belittling other races. <laughs> this is, and you know, it's, that is true. That is true. I can understand your guilt. I've never seen Rimuru look like this. They just confirming it wasn't just Mulan. Yes, I'm glad. I didn't want you to take that out on Mulan. That sounds like something she would do. She's a very selfless person, even though she did this. Think about this rationally. I appreciate that. Yes, give us more info. I hope Mulan tells him about Clayman and how he's behind her aspect of this. He did warn you that they would not like this. Yeah, whole economic change now that we're going to be the center of the new trade route. A tremendous loss. If that's not incentive to start a war, I don't know what is. We did enter a pact with Blumen. Let's see if they'll help us out. Good. Thank you. Let's get that info. Certain demon lord. That's probably drastic news, yep. A demon lord. One who specifically wants to target us. That's big. Especially because we know how strong all these demon lords are. Holy shit. We only know how strong a few of them are. And they're fucking so strong. Ooh, as we cut to his castle. Which I won't lie, that's a dope looking castle. Man, these episodes go by so quick. I just want to keep watching. God damn. So, started off exactly where last episode ended with... Um, the gluttony, which I, can you guys confirm or deny? And if it is the aspect that it just 
takes traits from everything we've used predator on and swallowed into like one autonomous crazy beast fighter can you tell me what all the aspects were in this i definitely saw ranga's head definitely saw the centipede from like episode one or two i saw wings i'm curious where those wings are from but there was a lot of aspects can you guys confirm what those are i'm really curious and the, the details of gluttony as an ability um i'd appreciate that thank you a lot second it was really smart of Rimuru during that fight before it even came to that to make like a body double. So no matter what, we're able to get out of there safely. Especially because of that disintegration. I didn't even know. I mean, because I maybe I just forgotten this, but I was unaware that Hinata was an otherworlder just like Shizu. And to have to survive being an otherworlder, you must have some superior spirit or be involved with spirit energy to keep the magic fuels like calm right otherwise you'll literally explode in yourself that's why we took those kids to the dwelling of the spirits but she has what literally looked like to be four or five different spirits and then it was like spirits heed my wish let me gain the power of the spirits and then did the descent that was so crazily cool like oh my god and fucking rimuru also agreed that her power and skills are just off the charts she's a beast and i love how rimuru also said i wonder if milam could survive that because that's exactly what i was thinking milam is so fucking op but after that we come back to uh, to the jura tempest federation and we talk about some of the losses we actually suffered through i was hoping there wouldn't be any death toll but there was a massive death toll and I don't want to say it like it humbled Rimuru, but it definitely gave Rimuru an outside perspective on what's going on. Like one, Rimuru's been playing with fire that he didn't even realize he was playing with in terms of making his city so grand and large that it affects the welfare and the, the economic status of other neighboring nations. So that's, you know, that's something that I also wouldn't necessarily think about as well. Um, especially with how much we've gotten along with certain nations and certain demon lords and stuff, you know, but they, he's, Rimuru was right. The Western Holy Church and Falmouth have been colluding from the beginning and Mulan told us that it, she serves Clayman. So Clayman's one pulling the strings and I can't wait to see how he comes into this. If he fights at all, anything along those lines, but that death toll was crazy. And Rimuru felt responsible because they were following his orders, you know, don't belittle, welcome, all, you know, not welcome all humans, but don't fight amongst yourselves, don't fight humans, like, it's like, they were just trying to be good people and it cost them, you know, like, oh man, I, I felt horrible, because the entire time, they've been just nothing but nice, this entire nation, the entire Jura Tempest Federation, like, yeah, some of the ogres who are now Kijin, who are awesome right now, they're at one time monsters attacking people, but that's because their hometown was attacked. You know, it's like, we we never initiate or instigate any fights between anyone, and, and now it's going to seem, oh, man, the Western Holy Church, like I said, Rimuru's a better person than I am, because I would have fucking wreaked havoc on them. I'm like, all right, let's use our fast travel ability, teleport me as close as we can to Falmouth, I'm summoning Ifrit, Veldora, this, that, the other, Benny Marr, you go over there, you know, it's like, I'm going ham, and it's like, damn, shout out to them, they have the resolve, they're gonna get to the bottom of this, shit's gonna go down, but, oh, I don't even know what to think, man, that's one thing I really enjoy about this show, is like, shit comes out of left field and right field so much that I really cannot accurately predict anything that's gonna happen, so everything's just like an open box, and it's like a mystery box, and I'm so excited to watch it, and I... Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Much appreciated, y'all. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe. I'll see you guys in this next episode. Peace out.